Welcome back to the Dirt Rally driver tutorials. In the first video we looked at the basic techniques. In this one we're going to take a look at the more advanced ones such as oversteer, understeer, throttle control and left foot braking. Understeer is whenever we enter a corner and the car does not turn enough to the steering input and wants to keep going straight. This can happen because of many reasons. Usually it's too much um, entry speed into the corner. It can be the driver input with the steering, and it can also be car setup. So whenever we come into the corner, we brake and turn in, but the car wants to go straight. And this is that's what understeer is. Understeer can be prevented by changing the car setup, making the front suspension a little bit softer and the rear a little bit stiffer. If you're still suffering from understeer, you can try using a little bit of the handbrake just to bring the rear around. So you see if we understeer, we pull the handbrake and we lose traction at the rear, which um, can help with it. Oversteer is whenever we turn into a corner and the car rotates more than expected and the rear comes around and can cause us to spin out. So we turn in the corner, the rear comes around and starts sliding. Oversteer can be corrected with counter steering, which is turning into the opposite direction of the corner. So we turn in, we've got the rear to come around, and we're counter steering to balance the car around the corner. You want to manage the throttle input as well, especially on rear wheel drive cars, not the spin. A little bit of understeer and oversteer is generally a part of driving a rally car. However, if we had to choose, I think um, a little bit of oversteer is preferred. Throttle control is very important in rally driving as you need to balance the car at all times to get traction and not smash the throttle as uh, that will definitely not get you traction. Especially in rear wheel drive cars, whenever you're trying to hold a slide, you need to almost pump the throttle in and out to keep the car pivoting and find as much traction as you can. So we go around this long well, it's almost like a donut and we're just balancing the throttle to almost steer from the rear because the rear wheels are the driven ones and are losing traction. In a front wheel drive car it's important not to smash the throttle too much or you'll get lots of understeer mid corner. In a four wheel drive car you need to balance the throttle input so that you don't get too much oversteer or understeer mid corner. Left foot braking is where we use our left foot instead of our right foot, which you would normally use in a road car to do the majority of the braking. This means the time taken to change your right foot from throttle to braking input is no longer an issue. And it, uh, it means we can drive quicker through the stage. So we come down to this corner Instead of braking with our right foot, we can brake with our left foot and we can still manage the car a little bit on the throttle. And we can also use the left foot to balance the car throughout the corner and change the trajectory of the car. Trail braking is a bit like left foot braking. We use our left foot, we find a braking point and then we gradually let off the braking pressure as we go into the corner. This means that we're almost coasting into the corner and can maximize the corner speed we carry. So I'll just show it as we come up to this corner. So we're coming up, we'll pick a braking point, which is usually a little bit earlier, and then we gently let off the throttle as we come in and coast into the apex and get back on the throttle. Pendulum turn is used to unsettle the balance of the car going into the corner to initiate a slide. It became popular in the 70s with rear wheel drive cars as they had no power steering and it was uh, particularly hard to, to do handbrake turns. So we come into the corner, we start braking, we turn the other way and then turn into the corner with a little bit of throttle input and we get the car to slide. Just show that again on the next corner. So we brake, we turn one way, and then the other, and that loads the outside tyre. 
and gets the rear to slide around, especially in a rear wheel drive car that uh, has low traction on the rear wheels. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to check out our other driver tutorial videos for more tips on rally driving.